the Jeep goes well on-road, we're about to see how it goes off-road. I'm Alan Whiting from OutbackTravelAustralia.com.au and we've been testing the Jeep Grand Cherokee model that's specifically designed for off-road work. This is the Trailhawk model and it's got a nice flash matte black sticker on the bonnet. Looks the part. It's got grey wheels which are nice and practical instead of polished aluminium and it's got underbody protection. It has the lower speed rear axles that are better for off-road work. So it's nicely tricked up for the bush and it's got heaps of creature comforts as well like heated seats, a heated steering wheel rim, that's handy in winter, it's got a sunroof, leather faced seats, very nice machine. On road, air suspension gives a perfect ride, it's got electric power steering, it handles beautifully. This vehicle doesn't have a tow bar, we'd love to have done a tow test with it because it's got a 3 litre turbo diesel engine that's got plenty of towing grunt. It's been quite economical, under 10 litres per 100 kilometres on road and slightly more on dirt and off road, but um, should be a cheap enough vehicle to run from the fuel point of view. Off road, 
It has some limitations despite having air suspension that will lift 100 millimetres. It was designed around the Mercedes-Benz M-Class platform when Daimler owned Chrysler or merged with Chrysler, whichever you prefer. The M-Class has the same problem with its air suspension. It's very stiff when it's raised, so the vehicle tends to bounce around on rocky stuff rather than undulate over it. So there's more work needed on the air suspension. Uh, underbody protection means that even though we scraped it over a few rock shells we did no damage. Uh, one of the weak links for this vehicle for off-road or even for bush work is that it has a temporary spare tyre. You definitely would need a swing away with a proper rim and tyre. So overall at a price of under $70,000 it's an excellent vehicle provided you don't want to do hardcore four-wheel driving. It has a 93 litre fuel tank which will give you good range and there's really no room for an extra tank or a water tank. It's not an expedition vehicle but if you were towing a camper trailer with it you'd go lots of places. Great value for money and a great performer. See you in the bush.